Hey guys, welcome to another pack opening video. Today I'll be opening up some Evolving Skies Blister Packs. Just going from the last video, we had a ton of luck opening up these. We got the Rayquaza Alternate Art VMAX, and we also got the uh, uh, Espeon V Alternate Art. So we had some really good luck opening these packs. So we've got 14 packs here. I'm going to open these up on the video. Before I opened these up, um, I was in the city. I opened up another 14. Got them from uh, Kmart. or was it Target at $6 a packet. And the pulls were pretty terrible from the Target one. So I got a Secret Rare um, Toy Catcher or something. And then one V, Volcrona, and two Hollows. So the pulls are terrible. Hopefully the second half of the box, which is where I got these from the Target shop. Hopefully these will have the decent pulls. Also, there's a new technique I discovered opening these up. Josh from Pokemon Australia, the Facebook page I'm using, told me that you can actually open these up from the back a lot easier than ripping them in half from the front. So it'll make, it'll save a lot of time. So we're gonna do that, let's crack into these. Another thing I noticed is that all of the blister packs in this box, from the Target's box of um, single blister packs, are all white codes. So you'll notice they're all white code cards, even if there's no hit. So it's a little bit of like a trick, but you know, I guess it doesn't spoil it if you accidentally see the code card for these ones. There's still a lot of suspense. Let's check this. First pack, we got a Timpole and a Smeagol. <clears throat> That's okay, we've got 13 packs left. We're hoping to get at least a full art from this. So it'd be 20... Eight packs, hopefully one full art. That would be great. So again, we've got the uh, white code cards. So this could be a hit. It might not be a hit. There's just no way of knowing until you get to it. Got a Galarian Articuno and a Thievil. That's nice. That's a rare, rare reverse holo. <clears throat> I'm going to sleeve this one up anyway. I do like Articuno. I think that's pretty cool. Put that next to our Lugia. It's a cool. Cool little hit. It's only the reverse holo. But that's okay. Okay, this is our pack number 12. I wonder if we'll get a white code card here as well. Yep, there's our white code. Hopefully we'll get like some sort of hit out of this one. Hopefully getting a hit soon would be good. Snowleaf badge, we've got a hit powder on. Rufflet, Rog and Roller, Wabuffet, Hop It. Swablu, Treasure Energy. And a Glacian V. So we're getting a V. That is better than nothing. And Glacian is a popular character. A lot of people really like Glacian. Check out Glacion's little pose there, running, and then it's like snow and blizzard behind it. That's pretty cool. I'm still looking for the Vaporeon and Glacion V Maxes for the standard set and any of the full art versions of them as well. All right, so this is be pack 11. We've got another white. Code card. Let's check this card here. Centering is tad off on the back, so could be anything. Lantern, Spirit Mask, Timpole, Lint Leo, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, Applin, and a Gigalith. So just still still hitting the regular rares. All four packs have been white codes so far. So it's a little bit of a bamboozle, but that's okay. 
Got the Glaceon V. Still hoping to get a full art eventually. And if we do get a full art, hopefully it's one that I don't already have because I'll need it for the set. Okay. Got a Grass Energy, Bravery, Lucky Ice Pop, Tentacruel, Zoroa, Kragonal, Petlil, Bergmite, Drowsy, Aroma Lady, and an Entei Hollow. All right, so we're getting a hit, two hits so far. Let's check out this Entei Hollow. Really hard to recognize him. He's got this really weird pose, like he's standing on one foot. Very strange for a dog. I'm not a biggest fan of this artwork. There's just too much going on. But it's a really cool Pokemon. Not so great in the game playing the uh, the card game, not the best, but it's there and it's an Entei and people like Entei. So, and it's a hit, it's a hollow, that's good. <clears throat> Next, pack number, uh, I believe this is nine. Nine left, one, two, three, four. Check the centering on the back of this one. It's all right, all right, we've got Darkness Energy, Gordy, Bravery, Nuzly, Flotad, Sableye, Teddy Ursa, Marit, Zorua, Ice Q, and a Drampa. Ice Q, such a strange Pokemon. How do you breathe when your head is frozen? Very strange design. Oh man, this card's got a bit of whitening on the back there. Such a shame. Water, Palpitoad, Shopping Center, Herdia, Scraggy, Bagon, Weebat, Timpole, Psyduck, Reverse Hollow, Zoilus, and we've got a Floor Just Hollow. So we've got another Hollow hit. It's alright, let's check it out first. Floor Just. Interesting fact about Florgis, it looks like a flower or a plant, but it's not actually grass type, it's a fairy type. Very strange how they decided to do that. Looks very much like a plant to me. Also another shout out to Josh, it does seem to be easier opening packs like this for the blisters. Let's hope we get a a big hit soon, like a, a full art or something. Oh, this card's really well centered, so it's probably not gonna be a hit. But Ice Q, Skip Plume, Elemental Badge, Tentacle, Hopip, Dino, Mareep, Wobbuffet, Reggie Drago, that's nice. People like this one in the card game, so I'm happy I pulled this. I can trade it with some friends. And we got a Gorgeist, regular rare. Chuck you in there between Glacier and Articuno. If I see any Flaffy or Stormy Mountains as well, I'm gonna put those aside because they're decent pulls for uncommons. Damn, we've got two hollows and a V. Having some terrible luck today. Psychic Energy, Pyro, Dream Ball, Stormy Mountains, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Scrafty, and. Oh! Dragonite V Full Art. The luck has turned in our favor. Look at that. Dragonite V Full Art. That is a really cool card. Tad off center, left to right. I'd say maybe one and a half, two mils. Very, very small. The back's more noticeable though. Really nice card, wow. Wow, that's a good pull. Dragonite V, 
full art. Oh, that's so nice. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five packs left. One full art's pretty much made it back for us. The luck is back on our side. We're still getting the white codes, even if there's nothing decent. All right, we've got Fire Energy, Herdia, Spirit Mask, Palpatoid, Love Disc, Dwebble, Hippopotas, Sarawa, Psyduck, Ryan, and Azora Walk Hollow. Check a sleeve. Let's check this out. Now, this is some great artwork. He's in the forest. There's some green things going on behind him. Or maybe that's the forest and the dark things or the shadows or something. Really cool. Really cool design here. Really gets the full body in the picture too. It's great artwork. All right. Interesting, another interesting thing about the Dragonite V is there's no Dragonite V in the set. There's, you only have the full art. They took the Dragonite V out and put it in its own little special box. Which is really interesting. Got four packs left. Four packets left. One, two, three, four. Water, Hippowden. Looking for this card in Reverse Hollow too. Golduck, Herdia, Hop Hip, Dino, Marip, Wobbuffet, Love Disc. I've got Feebas and a Gigalith. Haven't pulled a Rayquaza V yet either. Just the standard, standard old normal, good old fashioned Rayquaza. That's pretty weird. That's like a really light blue on the back, the shine. Okay, we've got um, Psychic Energy, Crustle, Rescue Carrier, Crystal Cave, Pikachu, Applin, Lilypot, and Mulgar. Haven't seen Flaffy yet. Hippopotas, and a Golurk V. Alrighty. Let's chuck this one in a sleeve as well. Let's check out Golurk V. Some cool art. So it has this really strong attack here called Rewind Beam. And you might think, oh, that's a terrible attack. It's only 180 damage. But if you're fighting um, a VMAX that has 300 or so HP and you use this attack and you think it's not going to kill it, it actually has the text. It says that it'll devolve that Pokemon, which means that you'll be dealing damage after it devolves. So the VMAX is going to go from 300 or so health down to whatever the standard V's health is. It's like 200 or something. So if you can raise this damage just a little bit enough to knock out a V, it should knock out a VMAX based on the, um, the de-evolution effect. So that's a cool Pokemon to try and build a deck out of. If you can make it work, you should try it. It's, it's quite slow to set up, but it's also... It is still a basic basic Pokemon and single strike, so it has to hit the combos with um, basic and single strike combos. All right, one, two, three, four. We've got Energy, Avalog, Snowleaf Badge, Gordy, Pump Kaboo, Bagon, Love Disc, C Dot, Slack Off, Bigger Off, and Gigalith. There's our Vigoroth there. All right, guys, it's gonna be the last pack. This is pretty uh, average pulls, I'd say, even though we did get the Dragonite full art. One full art in uh, 24 or 28 packs is, is pretty average. Let's get Darkness Energy, Fletch in the Lantern, Treasure Energy, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Applin, Lillipup, Emolga, Litleo, and Drampa. Damn. All right, let's do a quick summary of these 14 packs. Let's 
I'm just going to take the hits, not the reverse hollows. So in 14 packs we got the Full Art Dragonite V, which is very nice. We got the, the Golurk and Glaceon, and three holographic cards, so seven in 14. It's about a 50% hit rate, which is fine, but you're still hoping for one of these rarer full art cards to really make it worth it. All right, I'm just gonna quickly go through these other packs that I bought and opened up earlier today as well. I'll show you what I got here. Um, oh yeah, so that was a dud. There was a reverse hollow in that one. This one I think had something, had the Volcarona V. This pack might have had a hollow. No, we had the boost shake. This pack had just a Fletch Inder. This pack had Salamence Reverse Holo, which is nice. That Salamence has a decent ability if you put it in a deck. We've got a Regilecki here in that one. This pack had a Holographic Zygarde. This pack had a Reverse Holo Gigalith, which is also rare. So getting a few Reverse Holo rares. If I hadn't already completed the set so much, it would have been fine to get some Reverse Holo rares. I think there was a floor just somewhere. Yeah, there we go, there's the floor just. And the last hit would have been one of these last three packs. Fletchling, okay, it's probably this pack here. This one would have had the toy catcher. And there we go, there's our secret rare toy catcher and a hypno. So in the first 14 packs, we got one secret rare toy catcher, Forge of Zygarde and a Volcarona V, which is pretty below average for 14 packets. But the second half of the opening really made up for it with that full art Dragonite. So let's check that one out again. There we go. Full art Dragonite, that's so nice. Look at that guys. That really makes up for it. All right guys, if you like my pack opening videos, you wanna see some new stuff soon, I'll upload videos whenever I feel like opening packs. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. I'll be up next with some more pack opening videos soon. See you next time guys.